Hey guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and this one is going to be a quick one. Ever since 720G has been launched in India, specifically after the launch of Realme phones with 720G and a lot more phones with 720G coming, there has been a continuous debate. Is it better than 730G or not? In this video, we will find out. Also, we will be comparing it to MediaTek G90T as it's in similar price point and a lot more brands are going for this chipset. So we will adding this to the comparison. Let's start. So we will start off with Poco X2, which runs on Snapdragon 730G, but we have set the phone to 60Hz as the other two phones are on 60Hz, so the comparison needs to be fair. The Realme 6 Pro comes with Snapdragon 720G and the Redmi Note 8 Pro comes with MediaTek Helio G90T. So what I did with these three phones was stress tested it. I ran end to benchmark on these three phones 15 times. I will show you the all the ratings, all the graphs of the N22 score at the end of this segment because we will go to Geekbench as well. But I will start off with some interesting results first. So all three phones perform similarly with all of them scoring over 280k plus. But if you see the split between the three chipsets, you will notice that the CPU performance of Snapdragon 720G is better than the rest two. By the way, G90T is best in GPU performance in this comparison. So I kept running the N2 benchmark on all three phones. Around 7th benchmark, when the 7th benchmark was complete, I saw the major drop between the three phones. And here are the scores. So in these results, we see that Snapdragon 730G scores dropped the most. Surprisingly, MediaTek is able to maintain its performance and the scores are pretty similar to what it started with. 720G has also lost some points, but it is not as bad as what uh, 730G has lost. So now we come to the end of the 15th test and here are the final results for that. So 720G's score is pretty near to what it started with, whereas 730G is still roaming around 278k segment, which is a lower score with what it started with. And the MediaTek G90T is still uh, over 280k. We do not see any major score drop in MediaTek G90T. So here are the test results from all the 15 tests. And at the end of all the readings, I have also taken out the average of these tests. So here are the charts. So in the chart 1, it's overall performance. So the 280k plus scores. In the chart 2, I have uh, taken out uh, the CPU and GPU performance. So you can see that where the performance drop is happening, if it's in CPU or GPU. So you must be wondering why we ran N22 benchmark 15 times on these three phones. So in my opinion, 15 times is more than enough. It took me over two hours to run 15 benchmarks and uh, that actually stresses the CPU or the GPU or the entire phone enough so that we can know if there is any throttling or not. If there is any throttling, the scores will come down. If there is no throttling, the scores will remain there. With the G90T, we do see that there is no throttling. The scores are pretty stable. With 720G as well, we see there is a minute throttle, but the scores are pretty stable. They are also performing very well. With 730G, there are some thermal issues. So yeah, 720G does look a better processor compared to a 730G. When we compare it 15 times, when we run the test 15 times, when we stress the 730G as much as we want. Let's move on to Geekbench where we will be stressing the CPU again but single core and multi core will come out as a different result and don't worry we will not run it 15 times this time only 5 times. So after the first test we see that the 720G is performing the best in single core and 730G is performing the best in multi core. The G90T is not good in single core but in multi core it is pretty near to 720G. So after running this benchmark 5 times, here are the final results. 720G does not lose much when compared to throttling that we see on 730G. And surprisingly, MediaTek G90T gains some score in single core but loses a little in multi-core. So here is the final chart of uh, all the 5 tests and the results and the average. So I did also check the temperatures while I was performing these tests and none of them were over 41 or 42 degrees so that is pretty good because we were stressing these CPUs and GPUs a lot so 41, 42 degrees does show that there is no overheating issues. So I did play PUBG for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes on all three phones and it was on high graphics settings and not on HDR as Realme still does not support HDR graphics. Maybe an update is coming, maybe not, I really have no idea about that. 
but uh, high graphic settings it was performing very well no heating issues and no performance drop so gaming performance was pretty good gaming performance were pretty similar i think g90t was performing a little bit better because it's a more gaming centric phone and because it has a much better gpu as we can see in the benchmark scores as well continuously but while we are talking about performance while day-to-day uh, -day performance and gaming all three are pretty similar but I will go with 720G as the winner because it's a newer processor it will get much more updates much uh, quicker updates compared to a 730G uh, because it's an year and a half old for chipset so Qualcomm will start to fade it off 720G does suppose the new uh, navigation system the Indian navigation system as well which the 730G does not have the other benefits are no throttling much better cpu day-to-day -day cpu performance similar gpus so you are not losing anything when you are moving from 730g to 720g but you are gaining no throttling a little bit better performance a little bit better gps performance so overall i do think 720g is the winner so guys this was a quick practical comparison between 720g 730g and g90t where we run the benchmark where we run the games on the phone for hours and hours and test out what the performance was 720g takes it this time we will see who takes it next time when we compare more processors let me know which other comparison you want to see let me know uh, if you like this kind of comparison if you don't i will try out some other ways give suggestions subscribe like do everything of that sort of as well hit that bell i think it's important but uh, subscribe guys we are growing here we are trying to grow we are just starting out subscribe to our channel thank you very much guys